All right, Porsche people, here is our 1970 914 four-cylinder race car. It's been a race car for a long time, and we got it running, we got it driving. So you'll see within this video, another video of it driving and shifting and braking. Uh, it'll need a little bit of work to get back to like a vintage race car, but not much. You know, throw some tires at it, kind of just go through it, just make sure it passes tech inspection. Throw some uh, up-to-date seats and belts in there. You should be good to go. This car does run really well. It is a built 1.7 liter. It's going to come with all the paperwork all the way back to the early 80s of the races it's been to, the owners, what's been done to the car, and all the spec list. Everything you need to know about the engine, the suspension setup. Uh, as we know, it does have the Kony adjustable suspension on it. Center line, 15 inch by 7 wheels on it. Really cool car, fiberglass fenders. Now, this is not a show car. Uh, it's not really a car for like cars and coffee, anything like that. This is a race car. It'll make another, you know, great 10, 20 years from now. You can still race this one, especially in the vintage series. And it's a way to get into it fairly cheap. And we will be selling this car. It does have a full welded in roll cage. We do have the spec list on that and the builder that ties to all the suspension joints. So just to give you an idea, uh, sometimes the videos are a little bit better than photos, so you can actually kind of go through it. It does have the top-mounted 911 fan. It's got the carbs here we've rebuilt. They're running pretty good. Uh, you really won't be able to see, like, the suspension, like the hell hole and things like that they talk about, but it's been repaired a long, long time ago. There's no rust holes. The car is very straight, very solid. The doors do open, those kind of things. You'll see the roll cage in here ties together cool windscreen there yeah I mean literally like the alignment specs the brakes the nuts and bolts everything that was used is all written down I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this front trunk here has that front mount oil cooler there you'll see it when I come into here there's your sump your front battery your oil breathers your factory fuel tank. You'll see here the suspension joints welded in. Very solid car. Cool. All right, so you can see here we got the full spec list. Just everything was written down, handwritten, all the different shops, the machine shops. Every time, you know, brake pads were changed, every time anything was adjusted. There's your dyno sheets with all your dyno numbers. Did dyno 150 horsepower. And for a 1.7 liter, this thing rolls. It's fast. All your brake specs, wheel specs. Um, even it goes from, you know, your body. I don't know if you can see that. Body, brakes, suspension. Even the paint colors, you know, it was Corvette silver yellow. Is, I mean, uh, Corvette silver metallic is what it was painted. Race weld, fully integrated roll cage. All your electrical information. Your fuel system. And it's, it's really helpful, especially when, you know, if you're restoring a race car, you're going to want to know those kind of spec lists so you can maybe order up the parts again and try to keep it pretty period correct there. You know, balance crank, lightened. It, this thing's really cool. Anyways, you'll be getting all of this, all the information. We'll just go ahead and keep it right in that binder, that same binder that it's had for a long time. Alrighty.